All right, now another big story we're following locally here. Lockdown has been lifted now in East Hampton after concerns that an active shooter may have been in the middle school. News 8's Tina Detell is live outside that school with an update. Tina. <laughs> You know, it was a very emotional day here at this middle school, as well as all four schools here in town and for the parents as well. What started out as worry about a threat at this school soon turned into relief. Uh, well, hours later, it turned into relief when parents found out that the suspect was actually not even in town. Now, we did speak to the police chief after he spoke with parents, and he says that the report of an active shooter came in at 1247 this afternoon. Police soon encountered a woman outside the middle school who told them a relative may be hiding in the school with the intent of shooting people. That prompted a systematic search of the middle school and then the high school. Both were put in a code red lockdown, while the two elementary schools were put in a code yellow status, which later changed to code red as well. Now, after clearing both the middle and high school, police learned the suspect was not in town and police in Hartford County are now helping to try to locate and arrest that suspect. In the meantime, parents gathered along the roads outside the schools, worried and later relieved. Now, the police chief says this was an emotional time for all, even the police officers who searched the schools with the hopes of preventing a tragedy. Once the primary areas of the school had been searched, we then went door to door, opening up the locked doors with our master keys and ensuring everyone in the classroom was accounted for and all the teachers were safe and no additional person was in the classroom. Now, the police chief says officers from surrounding towns, as well as the U.S. Marshal Service, helped in this search. He believes mental illness may be a factor for the suspect, who is believed to have some sort of connection to one of the students at the school. Now, that is still being investigated. Of course, we will bring you any new information about the suspect, any possible arrests, and any possible connections to the school as soon as we get that information and it becomes available to us. For now, though, we are live in East Hampton. Tina Detail, News 8.